Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, January 30th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I own my vibration and its full potential. And today, <laughs> what I'm likening today to is like the cream inside an Oreo cookie. So yesterday, last evening, we had the culmination of the third, um, the third... Uh, Mercury-Pluto connection. So they met up for the third time in like a month. Um, they met up to help transform our mind, transform how we're communicating, transform how we're connecting. And tomorrow we have the third of Mercury-Uranus squares because Uranus is, Pluto is now at 16, Uranus is at 17. So it's just really close right now. I don't know if you can hear the racket going on behind me from a little cat. I know I can't see her in the video, but there's a racket and there's a kitty playing back there. Anyways, so tomorrow we have that, which both of these aspects can feel kind of tough. They can feel kind of hard, but today we are the mushy center. So we're gonna honor the mushy center today um, and honor our vibration in it. So in this mushy, sweet center, we have a connection between Venus and Neptune. Um, and you know, Neptune, brings the energy of compassion. It brings the energy of forgiveness. It reminds us that everything is unfolding just as it's meant to unfold. So if we can hold space for that, we can find forgiveness, forgiveness for ourselves and maybe where we've come up short from where we'd like to be and forgiveness for others um, and where they fall in our relationship spectrum. Um, and Venus brings in that element of relationships. And what I love about this connection <clears throat> excuse me, is that it's happening at eight degrees and Venus actually is in Capricorn. So we have this strong Capricorn energy, that energy of responsibility. You have the ability in this energy to show up for yourself and offer forgiveness. And you know what? Honestly, the thing about forgiveness is, you know, it, we may think, you know, it's for the other person, but really it's for us. Forgiveness brings peace. Forgiveness brings us back to the place where we know we are one. Forgiveness can bring us to a place of friendliness. It can bring us to a place of letting go. And in all this tension that's been going on, whether it is for you or somebody who's been around you, forgiveness may be a really powerful entity for you right now. Um, Besides that, we have the moon shifting into Scorpio later in the evening. So the moon's going to be in Libra throughout most of the day, trying to bring balance. It's going to be void, of course. So that always kind of leaves like kind of quiet energy. So find your balance. Nurture yourself. And then the moon in Scorpio is actually um, tomorrow, early in the morning tomorrow that this is happening while you are sleeping. But Mercury, not Mercury, sorry, Moon, when in Scorpio, is going to connect with Neptune. And so your dreams may be stirred up. You may get some of those lessons from that Pluto-Mercury connection or some of those insights that are coming with that revelation energy that's coming with the Mercury-Uranus connection tomorrow. So, you know, set that intention to pay attention to your dreams. And if something comes, great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. But setting intention always helps me so much. The other thing that I want to mention that I really like in this energy is that Ceres is in Aquarius. Now, Ceres has just shifted into Aquarius this week. And Ceres is the energy of the mother archetype. And so whether it represents your mother, how you are a mother to your children, that's kind of one thing. But how I really think it's powerful for us to look at is how we mother ourselves. And this energy is an energy of friendliness. Can you bring friendliness to yourself, to your process, to your vibration, to that full potential? I feel like that's what our like potential needs. We all have like this vibrational potential that we came to bring. And we just need like that little friendliness, like you can do this, you came for this. It's like um, one of my favorite quotes, uh, every blade of grass has an angel whispering over it, grow, grow. You can do that for yourself over this next transit of Ceres and Aquarius. Be that angel on your shoulder being like, you got this, you can do this. Bring that air of friendliness, be a friend to yourself. Sometimes as the inner parent, we mimic our other parents and we can be harsh. And while I think it's great to have like 
boundaries as our inner parent and be able to be like, hey, you know that's not good for you. I think at the same time, as our inner parent, we can cultivate a softness and recognize that sometimes we have our own ideas of what's good and bad and we need to kind of blur those lines. <laughs> that makes sense. Be a friend. Be a friend to yourself and just see how that goes. Um, and I gotta say, I wrote down that friendliness thing before I pulled this card. So I think the universe is in alignment with me. Friendliness. Bring some friendliness to yourself. Bring some friendliness to others. Bring that forgiveness energy. Moon and Scorpio. Tuning in. Listening to what's going on. I think that's part of the friendliness is really listening to what's going on in here. What is your body saying to you? And um, the final two to spend a little time with today, playfulness and creativity. I think um, after the week, this week that we've had, <laughs> the tension that's building, we all need a little release. We all need a little relax. So if there's a way you can have a little fun, bring a little playfulness, bring a little creativity into your day, spend a little time nurturing yourself with that. So that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Book a reading. Um, if you would like any help with anything or an energy session, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.